What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out how to auto hide reference images when we don't need them to make modeling from those images easier in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so there's a lot of situations where you're modeling with reference images and specifically this is going to work when you've done a shift A and you've imported an image as a reference image and resized it. Um, and what happens is you wanna use your plan right here in order to model something. And you wanna use these images as kind of a reference that's in here. However, when you're dealing with big floor plans like this, this can get a little bit clunky because they can really block your view, right? I can't actually see in here to start modeling, but there's a trick that you can use in order to set these up so that they only show up in an elevation view. So the way this works is you wanna take these objects you wanna go ahead and select them. And again, this is only gonna work for objects that are in here as images. But notice how if you go down to the object data properties for this object, and then we go look in the options. There's an option in here for show in perspective. If you uncheck that box, that means that this image is only going to show up in an orthographic view, which is technically going to be a straight on view. So if I uncheck the box for perspective, notice how now when I fly around, that image is going to go away. And I'm gonna do that for all of these really quick, except for my floor plan, which I don't want to go away. So now, um, notice how I can't see those images. And just a quick note, if you've used the option to import images as planes, this is not going to work because then those are considered meshes in Blender. You need to do this with the reference images. But if I use my keypad to jump into an orthographic view, so if I type in like one or three on my keypad, notice how when I go into that orthographic or straight on view, those are going to show up. But then as soon as I orbit out of here, those are gonna go away. What that does is that's going to give me the ability to come in here and model in my floor plan like this. But then when I take this whole thing and I decide that I wanna extrude it, what I can do is I can tap the one key, the three key, or the nine key, but then when I come in here and extrude this up, notice how I can use that elevation view to see what the height is to extrude that to the proper height. And then I can come back over here and I can use this in order to um, keep modeling inside of my 3D space. And then I can jump back into an elevation view if I wanna do more modeling. So just kind of a quick tip today, if you do wanna learn more about architectural modeling in Blender, I am gonna to link to my architectural modeling in Blender playlist that can teach you more about creating floor plans and adding doors and windows and other things like that in Blender. Leave a comment below, let me know if you have any questions. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.